Hello. Oh, hey, it's on. Okay. So uh, this talk will be about implementing provably secure detection of direct injection attacks, which we will define what that is. And it's by me, uh, Konstantin Metropolis, uh, Ashwini Nene, Rafael Strzelski, Avi Weinstock, and Vasil Sikas. Okay, so uh, what is direct injection attacks? And uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you can think of it as a write-only direct memory access or directly overwriting RAM. And it's a class of attacks that include some pretty realistic cases. So for example, if this room were to be set on fire come, mm, spontaneously, then your computer will probably have some bit flips which can be exploited. Although I, I would say that probably heat lamps is the safer option. Uh, another obvious scenario would be, you know, for example, if we had a nuclear fallout, um, you know, there will be some memory errors. But of course, actually, in one of the papers we read, uh, cosmic rays was also recommended. I'm not sure where we, you would get that, but you know. But probably the more uh, normal, I guess, uh, attack would be exploiting hardware that have this DMA feature, for example, network cards. Uh, so in 2016, uh, Lipton, Ostrowski, and Zikas uh, had this pretty simple uh, solution. So let's say you have program P. What you do is you chop it up into blocks and you turn it into program P prime, which is basically P, but with all these tags between them. And uh, you can think of these tags like stack canaries, but you know, for cryptographers who are very paranoid. And uh, for example, if the adversary were to inject in block one, uh, tag one has a Mac which can check uh, and it will catch this injection. And if the adversary were really clever and uh, basically overrides block three and tag three such that the Mac verifies, then there is the attestation process where the tags can be checked for uh, that, that it's uh, correct. Uh, so what we're doing is basically we're implementing this purely th theoretical uh, solution and we're using you know, x86 architecture and we're actually proving security with cache which was not done in the 2016 uh, solution. And what we're doing is we're also uh, formalizing what assumptions we can make on AES-CPC um, so that it can be used as a Mac. And uh, it's, uh, the name is, the, the length of the name is to be desired, but you know, <laughs> currently it's called strong randomness extractor against bit fixing attacks or um, Sribafa, I guess. Um, and there are some more things, but you know, we're working on it. And this uh, picture here is uh, basically our benchmark. And uh, as you can see here, I mean, you might not be able to see the, um, the words here. It might be a little bit small. But um, basically, as the x-axis is the cache size. So as cache size uh, grows larger, the overhead, the performance overhead of this protection actually drops down such that it actually is very close to the original program. And uh, that's it. Thank you.